One Action News, federal agents raiding an Overland Park store, and it's all over potentially counterfeit Royals World Series gear. And 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel found out exactly how you can tell if what you buy is real, and that's a question a lot of people have, Brian. Absolutely, Rain and Mike, and that raid happened right here today and right now. Royals gear for the World Series champions are flying off the shelf, and those federal agents, they want to make sure that what you are purchasing is the real deal. Homeland Security agents carrying out boxes of potentially fake World Series Championship Royals gear from Sportswear, etc. in Overland Park. It's a good warning to some of these deceptive uh, companies that represent themselves as having the authority to use somebody's copyright. It's happened before as the demand for merchandise goes up. Anytime you have a World Series or the All-Star Game, we've always dealt with that. Including right here in Kansas City in 2012 when the city hosted the All-Star break. Then it was a Lenexa warehouse making counterfeit ball caps. What was confiscated here? Still unclear. If it is fake, the Coalition to Advance the Protection of Sports logos says the merch most likely is of lower craftsmanship than this official gear, with stitching and uneven logos or colors that bleed when washed. And they most likely won't have this official MLB postseason hologram, a telltale sign that the stuff isn't authentic. I mean, we see plenty of shirts that don't have that logo or that symbol on there, and that's what the copyright laws are all about. The penalty can be up to a $20,000 fine per violation or potentially two years in jail. We consider the scope of the violation, uh, you know, how egregious it is, how much business that company did. And many of you on social media today have been asking why Homeland Security was part of today's raid. Well, it turns out that counterfeit investigations fall under the juris jur jurisdiction rather, of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Department of Homeland Security. Reporting live in Overland Park, Brian Abel, 41 Action News.